بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome all viewers inshallah today I would like to mention two things that we can learn from the situation with Andrew Tate number one Andrew Tate embraced Islam this is very important to really think deeply about Andrew Tate became this super famous individual he has lots of fans there are lots of young men specifically who look up to him they want to be like him but think for a second Andrew Tate embraced Islam. He didn't embrace Islam and then reach this high status. He already had this high status. He already was a high value man. He already was strong. He was a world renowned kickboxing champion. He was rich. He had women. He had all the money he could need in the world. He traveled everywhere. He had fame. He had all these things. Yet, what did he do? Was that sufficient? Did that fulfill him as an individual, as a human being? No, because the only thing that is truly going to fulfill a human being is when they submit to their Lord. So to all the Muslims out there who are trying to be like Andrew Tate, understand that Andrew Tate is trying to be like you. And truly, the most honorable human beings are those who have the most taqwa, those who are the most God conscious. That's what makes you a valuable human being. Not how many sports cars you have, not how many girls that you've been with, not how masculine and tough you are, how much taqwa do you have? And the second thing that we can learn from Andrew Tate is that all of this stuff we see on social media, this red pill movement, all this talk about being so masculine and treating women this way and a man being that way, it's all entertainment. And one way we know it's entertainment is because now that Andrew Tate has been arrested, what is a major line of defense regarding him trying to be found innocent? It's the argument that he was playing a character. It's that not everything that he said should be taken literally. So please, let us all internalize this. A lot of this stuff we see on social media, it's an act. It's entertainment. It's fake. So to all of the brothers out there who have really bought into this red pill movement, you're being led astray just like the feminists were led astray. If you want to see reality for what it actually is, you don't need a red pill. You need the Quran and Sunnah. Feminism was this ideology that a lot of women found appealing. Were there certain aspects of feminism that were true? Yes. Were there certain aspects of feminism that were in line with Islam? Yes. But by and large, it is a different ideology outside of Islam that has led people astray and were suffering the consequences. And the same is true for red pill. There are many things about red pill that are very appealing to men. There are certain things about it that are true. There are certain things about it that are in line with Islam. But by and large, this is something that is outside of Islam. And those elements are leading people astray. So if you want to know what being masculine is, if you want to know what you should look for in a wife, how you should be as a husband, anything that you could think of, you're going to find it within Islam. You're going to find it within the Quran and Sunnah. So take note, when you see someone like Andrew Tate embracing Islam, then benefit in that being a reminder that Islam is the truth. That's what you need to turn to. If we Muslims are going to fix these problems that we face as men, as women, as husbands and wives, what we really need is less entertainment and more education, specifically education regarding our deen. Allah knows best. Thank you for watching. Jazakum Allahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.